Hello, Ollie Larkin here. Uh, web audio modules. This caught my eye because I've not heard. I've heard about Web MIDI, but I've yep. not heard about Web Audio. So tell us, what is it? Okay, so Web Audio is a, a way of doing uh, interesting audio stuff on a web page, and it's been around a few years, and it's replacing Flash for doing fancy, fancy audio stuff on web pages. It goes with Web MIDI and. Uh, you can use them both to make synthesizers that work as web pages, which is what we're doing here. Right, so I noticed here you've got a uh, virtual CZ, and uh, this is running in the browser. This is Chrome, right, presumably? That's right. Um, yeah, so this is a web based version of a desktop plugin. Uh, I developed this plugin and released it in 2014 with Plugin Boutique. Uh, this is a web audio module version, and that's just like another plugin format. Web audio modules are what what we want, um, sorry, they're like the equivalent of VST for the web, basically. Ah, okay, and is that, so is it based, because usually we expect code to be done for the browser in sort of Java, that side of things, is it on JavaScript? Is this a different code base? Yeah, so this is exactly the same code that we use for a desktop plugin. Um, people, to make desktop plugins, people use C++ normally, because it's got to be really fast. And uh, this uses a thing called WebAssembly to allow us to get C++ code to work in the browser, and it's it's great because it means you can write write code that runs on any device. So um, this is, is this actually working now? Can we hear it? Yep, yep. So I can load up the classic CZ brass ensemble sound. I can't really hear what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully you I can hear it. Hearing some brass ensemble. Yeah. So so tell me, I mean, what's the What's the CPU overhead like? Because obviously there's a lot of layers going on in here yeah. before it gets to the kind of audio output. Um, it's pretty good. It's not quite as good as running a native plugin, but WebAssembly plus this new technology that's only available in Chrome currently, a new addition to the Web Audio API, allows us to get low latency um, code that performs very well. So. We're getting to the stage where you can really do professional quality audio stuff in the browser. It's interesting. And so, can you do things like have multiple windows open for multiple timbral? I mean, how does definitely? That I, I can open two two windows with different presets and mix them. So this is a new browser window that you've opened up, right? Yeah, we're still hearing the brass ensemble, and I can load in a new preset on a different tab. So it's playing both of them. It's playing both up. So that's actually something that's not in Virtual CZ, but on the CZ series, some of them let you mix presets. So, and how? I mean, what sort of uh, what sort of CPU overhead are we talking? Is it comparable to the VSTs, or is it? Um, it is comparable to, to VSTs. Yes, um, WebAssembly code lets you get very near native performance. So, and I guess I, I haven't got any it, numbers. It, I'm afraid is but. running a browser. <laughs> Less CPU intensive than running a DAW, I suppose. Is you know, is what, what's the wrapper? I suppose that's the that's the question. Um, that's difficult to say. I mean, it's like <laughs> as a Theresa May moment. May moment. <laughs> yeah, um, there are some very very impressive things that you'll find on doing using Web Audio. So somebody's ported VCV rack to run in the browser. That runs very nicely. Um, my my collaborator, the main inventor, I should say, of this web audio module format, has done all sorts of synthesizers. So we've, you might know this OBXD, which is an emulation of the Oberheim OBX. That runs very well. We've got DX7. Um, ah, OK, the DX, DX7. We've got DXID as well, yeah. And uh, we've also got an emulation of the Profit VS, which is particularly nice so I'm going to open this one up and show you so I mean in this in this sense I mean is there a product here because is, is this all protected or would, I mean how do you kind of how would you make money out of this if you're a developer well that's a big question um, personally I'm interested in using it as a way of letting people quickly try out the product so right, okay. actually loading up the virtualcz.io website is much quicker than downloading the zip file and putting your VST in the right place. And, and, then, kind of and then only having a, a demo version in place. Yeah. That's a really interesting idea. And I also think uh, for things like documentation, 
you know, having it integrated in a website is, is quite interesting. So can you integrate HTML and the web audio? So can you, yeah. can you like have interactive help that would like take you to the right knob? That, that's or one option, yeah, one possibility. Um, and yeah, also for things like preset libraries, I think it's a great way to show them off. You know, let people actually try those presets quickly in the browser rather than, um, you know, listening to an audio example of someone else making music with it, that kind of thing. Wow, that's it. So, I mean, where does your, what's your role here? I mean, are you a kind of researcher or you a coder? What's your, what do you, what do you get for, well, to put into it, I suppose? <laughs> I've been writing plugins for around 15 years. Um, I'm, I maintain a, a C++ plugin framework that lots of other people use to make their plugins. Um, and yeah, I just uh, get, firstly I get a big kick out of seeing my plugin running as a web page, but um, I do think this is probably the way things might go and, and maybe in five or ten years we, we all use Chromebooks instead of MacBooks. And, and what about uh, for processing real-time audio, so like for mixer channels or actual effects plugins rather than instrument plugins, is it, will it work for yeah. that too? We don't have any examples um, available online at the moment, but the uh, the guy who really is the creator of this format, he's got a, a startup called Amp Studio, and they're working on a web-based DAW, which is actually loading these things. Ah, okay. And uh, they've got effects there. So this was demoed at the Web Audio Conference last week in Berlin, and uh, I expect it will be available publicly quite soon but I'm, I'm not part of the startup so I don't I, I know wonder what's, what, how, so how do you does it just address the whatever you've selected in system audio or can you access uh, the audio interfaces so multi-channel audio interfaces and that side of things currently it's just set up to work with the system audio but I think there is some discussion amongst the web audio community about adding uh, possibilities of, of communicating directly with you know multi-channel sound cards that kind of thing Okay, yeah. so, so this is a glimpse of the future then, really? Uh, possibly, yeah. Well, thank you very much.